You know, later on, I'm going to do a video talking about how these players fit within the roster and, you know, the competition, who's going to make the team, who's going to get cut, practice squad guys and all that type of stuff. But uh, we're just simply going to look at some film for the next few film sessions. If you haven't seen the Conor McGovern film and the Tristan Hill film, go check those out. Let's take a look at Joe Jackson. We're not going to watch film on everybody because the broadcast view is kind of crappy, but... Uh, we can show the D-line some love. Plus, we got these indicators from whoever's uh, doing the film here. Let's get into it. So the type of player that Joe Jackson is, uh, he's going to be competing as one of our strong side defensive ends, okay? They played him at the right side a bunch here, but uh, Joe Jackson was mostly on the side that was tight inside, which would make him strong. But I think just how he fits for the most part in the Dallas scheme, I think he'll be, um, be a left defensive end rotating with DeMarcus and Taco, you know, those type of guys there very stout versus the run. I'm talking about Joe right now. Joe is very stout versus the run. Can develop as a pass rusher. Um, what he does, he 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 does it really well. He can work on some things. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Plus, he's a super high effort guy. Rob Marinelli really likes that shit. So, let's just kind of get this film going a little bit. We just got Joe Jackson here at the bottom defensive end. And, you know, that's kind, that's kind of what he, what he does the most. This is where he really makes his babies, right? Uh, coming off the football, punching, engaging people. He got some pretty long arms. He needs to learn how to extend with them a bit. Um, but, you know, Papa Rod's good at teaching people stuff like that. But what he'll do is he'll he'll get his hands inside and, like, control, find the football, and just work his way to it. You know, ball carriers right here. Joe is here. He's just going to work his way to the football. That's just the 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 type of player that he is. Um, I like his ball get off. Where, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, his ball get off, is, you know, when it's good, it's really, really fantastic. You know, just uh, we just want him to be uh, consistent with it. We want him to see that same ball get off every time. And we know Rod cuts people out to get him to do that type of stuff, so. Uh, but take a look at his ball get off right here, man. Just a good punch to the chest, delivering the blow, uh, setting the edge, and let the rest of his guys uh, come and get some um, come and get some of that work. Let's keep looking at it. Oh yeah, this is an even better example of him setting the edge. Check him out right here. He's gonna get up on his right side here and really, really put a lot of pressure on 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 this side of the grass right here. Check him out, man. And and the the whole O line is coming this way. We're gonna see him really stand that tackle up and turn him right. And what that's gonna do is is if you don't stand him and turn him then the rest of your guys really can't get down the line of scrimmage in that way, right? Um, plus, if your running back is going to be doing majority zone type stuff, he has an option. He can either run uh, forward in the uh, play side gap and kind of run into Joe and C gap, or he can cut it back and run into this guy, this guy, this guy, or any one of these three gentlemen here. Uh, plus, he got help up front here. So just uh, I think this is this is really what he's going to be good at. Now, is he going to be fantastic at it this year? No, I think in, in every offseason, people get into their man body. They grow and they develop a little bit. I don't like to rush defensive ends. I'm looking at you, Cowboys fans. I don't like to rush my defensive ends or whatnot. But um, I think just after like a year or so, he'll really be good at it on the, uh, on the next level. But this is setting the edge all day uh, punching my mans in the chest really getting them turned and it made the it made the running back indecisive almost and um you know he uh he helped he helped his teammates get some uh get some play uh what happened on this play do i have this in my notes not in my notes but we i mean we just see a little bit of quickness from him quickness ain't really his game but he can uh he can't pull it out every now and then though. but check this out this is why rod really likes him right like this is what uh what i think makes him really compatible with a guy like uh like tristan hill our second round pick this is what's going to really uh you know reshape this whole d line we get four guys doing this kind of stuff we got joe jackson down bottom take a look at him i ain't got to break him down but just take a look at joe jackson and just watch what he does on this play right um, kind of gets pulled, da da da. Shovels to the tight end, and we just gonna give chase, my man. We just gonna give chase. Yo, now look, as a as like if I was DC, I would rather the play be stopped back to hell here somewhere, right? But we're isolating the film. We're we're isolating Joe Jackson, what he's doing, and 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 what he does well. And he's a super high effort player, super high effort guy. So um. You know, just just that play alone probably got you know probably got Rod Marinelli on his team just to be able to uh, chase a quarterback that's probably faster than you. Uh, I mean, a uh, um, tight end that's probably faster than you to 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 chase him down for uh, twenty five yards or so, and, and you know, and uh, get the uh, tackle on the back end and go for the fumble. We see him right there going for the actual fumble. That that's what Rod really likes. And uh, what I think we're going to transition into is a D line full of guys that get after uh, everything in that way. 
you know now now we do have 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 super high high effort guys right now just because that's just how 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 Rod Marinelli gets down but if we can take that already imprinted in their D-line DNA, so to speak, if that's a thing. Hey, everybody hashtag D-line DNA right now. Like some guys, you kind of got to motivate to be full-blown motor guys. Like Tristan Hill is automatically a motor guy. Like Joe, uh, Joe Jackson is automatically a motor guy. D-Law is one of those guys. And if we can get a line full of automatic DNA, um, D-line DNA full motor guys, it'll be fantastic what eight of those guys can do in the future of the Cowboys. Maybe not this year, but just the future of them. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that subscribing on my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you for less than a bag of almond m ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's patreon.com slash vach lombardi i appreciate the support doski woski salute a little bit of nuance in him as a pass rusher right here joe jackson is down bottom let's take a look at him then i'll bring it back and um and we'll talk about it here and i would have talked about it there but it, it happened kind of fast i, I kind of gotta rewind this thing and slow it down if y'all don't like when i you know rewind you know go jump off a bridge or something but let's just take a look at how joe jackson is going to attack this left tackle here it's really fantastic in this way how he how he set him up and this kind of lets me know that he's uh he's a he, he rushes with a plan but he also has some like reactionary skills in there too joe jackson is gonna um he's gonna kind of line up against this left tackle here and we see joe's hands go high right and we're selling that image that we're attacking you high so you can defend yourself high then once the offensive lineman's hands get high you see his hands get kind of high right up there. Joe is going to take this left arm here and rip it right up under this tackle's outside arm, right? So, boom, what that's going to do is Joe has the leverage here because Joe is Joe is under this tackle's arm. The, the, the tackle can't block us with the arm tied up and an arm on the back. There's no way that a tackle can can block us here. And Joe Jackson set this up on – he he – he set this up on his own um high hand under boom now i can just take you to the quarterback right fantastic nuance fantastic technique right there man just fighting under that damn block to go get the sack on the uh on the quarterback man uh joe is mostly going to be a run like a run support guy that can get you sacks in the league but like he got a lot of sacks though he got like 22 career sacks or something like that and um that's pretty that's pretty fantastic you always want a guy that has production but um you know, just take his skills that he currently has, add a little bit of consistency to it, let Rod work his magic, and you know, Joe, uh, Joe could be a uh, be a pretty good player for you in the future. <laughs> hey man, we just gonna end on this play, dog. Check out your boy Joe down by the beating the shit out this Florida State kid, man. <laughs> Let's go turnover chain. Can I get the turnover chain, dog? Fantastic here, man. Hey, you want to hit me with a little gallop? Cool. I'm going to use my outside hand right here. I'm going to go for your outside arm just to kind of uh, give me a little bit of space, give me a little bit of leverage, kind of sort of. And I'm going to work towards ripping under your under your um, under your armpits again. Why am I doing it again? Because yeah, you've proven to me that I can do it to you one time. And you know, Joe Jackson is very much so keep doing it to you until you can't stop it anymore. I think he got two and a half sacks um, and a half sacks in this uh Florida State game right here. Just uh, you know, like I said, man, he can he he can give you quarterback pressure sometimes, but he's gonna mostly be a uh he's gonna mostly be a uh a strong side defensive end, run stoppy type, run stoppy type of guy. Um, he's gonna have to compete with uh, with uh, Dorrance Armstrong to really make his money. Uh, he's not really taking Demarcus Lawrence off the field, but um, we'll we'll get into that later. I'll I'll make those videos later on. But with that being said, man, hey man, like this video so I can get to the top of the algorithm, man. I really need that support. I appreciate you. Um, comment in the video subscribe and all that hit the notification bell so you know when i drop random videos in the middle of the week just like this if you're a dallas cowboy fan it's about to go down because all my videos are gonna be cowboy based now so come on back to the party if y'all left me for a little bit and um don't leave again or i'll get upset thanks for everybody that tuned in to all my draft coverage and all that uh it, it really meant a lot to me hey hold it down for the doski woski the peace whiskey costs you nothing the patreon more important than food and water salute